everyone, welcome to my shed. Today is part one of a series that I'm going to do on um, generating electricity from biogas. So all those food scraps that you throw away, uh, maybe they go into the compost, maybe they go to the, the council to compost themselves, we can make electricity out of them. We can digest them in a biogas digester, produce methane, and then we can use a generator to put that energy into a battery. So today in part one we're going to make a small digester then later on we're going to look at the storage we're going to look at how we can compress that gas and then mean how we can use that in a generator and finally something i'm really excited about is how we can automate that whole process so let's get into part one how we're going to make this small biogas digester the main part of the digester is this 220 liter plastic barrel um, got it off ebay uh, it cost 20 20 pounds i think i had to pick it up obviously uh, it didn't come with the um, little bungs, which is annoying. Um, seems to be a, a good trade in them. I think if you buy these, they cost as much as the, the barrel does. But I've got some uh, adapters that I'm going to put into that, and then I'm going to use those to, as part of the system. So it doesn't mean that it's actually um, it's not a bad thing. We're going to put the pipes in here. And we'll take the gas out of those but we'll get into that later so that's obviously the the main part of the digester just a, a small 220 liter um, barrel let's go and have a look at the other stuff we've got bits of, from different sections here so these are the adapters that go in the top of the, the barrel um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have these um, adapters sat in them and then pipe on that and then the gas is going to come out the top of that so we have two sets of those that's for those this is for the discharge the elbow we need to create for that uni seals for the for the two inch pipe then these are the uni seals for the gas pipe which is over here it doesn't need to be this gas pipe because um, it's not under any pressure but um, this was just as cheap as getting plastic this was like eight quid off Amazon so got that you see the uh, some clips to fix that now the wire wall and the cat's litter is for the scrubbers three scrubbers these are just plastic um, containers that I got off the internet again they're like three quid each so we're gonna have cat's litter in one water in another uh, water cat's litter and then the wire wall so the the water vapor the gas goes into water takes the carbon dioxide out through the cat's litter to take any water vapors out then through um, the wire wall which then takes the hydrogen sulfate out um, then that then goes into our storage tank we also have up here um, this is um, a secondhand incinerator so it's a waste disposal um, and then we've got a big funnel there and an adapter to go into that got to cut the bottom off that there's nothing I could find to adapt that so that's that's probably going to be in part two that but this the setup we're going to do today we're going to look at uh, putting all as much as we can together and see how far we get okay so we've um, used a 13 mil drill bit and we've cut a hole in this so we're going to put a uni seal in that hole for the uh, the gas pipe to come out of the digester and then the into the um, scrubbers we have again some 13 mil holes drilled in there through the back a little bit of an issue with the, um, the thing but it should be okay so what we're going to do now is just give that a little bit of a sand make that smooth and we will then put in the uh, put in the uni seals. so let's get that done and then we'll put the uni seals in we now have our three uh, lids to the scrubbers both with two holes in and we have this one for the gas outlet for the for the main uh, digester so we just pop these little uh, eight mil uni seals into there Just going to measure the um, pipe, measure the pipe to go between the scrubbers. So it needs to go 
uh, obviously into one, then out from the top of the other into the bottom of another. So we go from the bottom to the top, and let's say make sure it's got a bend on it, so we'll give it to there. Okay, and then we will go and chop that there and put it into the tops. All right, guys, um, I made a mistake. This is 8 mil gas line, but that is the internal diameter there. Um, so it doesn't fit in my 8 mil uniseals. Stupid mistake, should have done some research. Luckily, I found some 8 mil piping just in the shed. So we've got something we can use, and we'll go on and use that. So we will continue. Same thing, put some Vaseline on the end of that. We've got our one that we did before, and just in he goes. So, just needs to go to the to the top with this, because this is for the, the X, taking it out of this one, and it's gonna go into this one. So, we'll do the same thing here. And yeah, I know this uh, this pipe is very dirty. It's fine, we'll wash it out. That can happen. Okay, in he goes. Okay, he has to go out to the bottom. Alright, okay, so that now sits. So, um, and we will get our, our next one in to go the other way. Okay, so same thing again. Into there, and into here. Go right to the bottom, like so. Right then. Now, just need to do the last one. Put it together. This can just go here. Pass it in that up. And that goes into there, right? So that actually needs to be at the top. Does it need to be at the top? Yes, it does. And then, so. Not that uh, easy to handle at the moment, the pipe's pretty stiff, but we have them all set together. Once those things have got any weight in them, we're actually going to probably strap them together so we have these three things set. See, like that, and sat, strapped together so that we can uh, have them sitting something like that. Not take up too much space, efficient with our pipe. Um, yeah, all right, although the seals look a bit dodgy under stress, so we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so we want two 1.5 meter long uh, lengths, and then we want two smaller lengths for our um, gas outlet. So let's measure 1.5 on this. One of these we need to cut a 45 degree angle, so I'll just do that on here.
one. We want to go down um, halfway along the barrel. So the barrel is 90 centimeters tall, so we're going to go 45 centimeters up. <coughs> Small hole, small hole there. This is for the um, effluent outlet. So we'll sand those off in a second. Right now, for the two smaller lengths. Just a chunk, maybe 10 centimeters. Like that. Again. Sun's coming out, lovely. So, now let's get these bits out and I'll show you what we're doing. These are our two holes and our orange adapters will screw quite nicely into there and that will go onto there. Um, when we come to put this all together finally we can we'll glue all these together. Um, there's another one that's going to go onto here um, but I just haven't, I'm missing the, the cap for that at the moment. Um, and then that goes down into our scrubbers and then off into our storage. Um, right, okay, so next stage is putting in our, drilling our two holes here for our uni seals, and then we'll put in the big pipes. Okay, so we've got our uni seals in here, and so let's start assembling this all together. I'm going to put the plugs in, and then attach those onto there, and then we'll put that. Sanded these down so it's nice and smooth. Now find the Vaseline. Okay.
and point you and invert. Point you and end. So I think. Okay, so we're pretty much set up now. Um, got the big pipes in, inlet and outlet, and then our scrubbers are all attached here. That's about it for this video. Next one, we're gonna set up the scrubbers, fill them with it, fill them up with their their um, contents, and then we'll get the digestate as well. So that's gonna be uh, going picking up some manure from the forest and letting that ferment a little bit and sticking it in. And then we'll get to fitting the insincorator to the input. So yeah, that's all to come on the next one. Catch you later.